Jesus. Oh, those are some those are some cute emotes. Mega's got some <laughs> those are pretty nice. Last minute Christmas shopping. No, not even last minute Christmas shopping. Uh a couple of my uh family members got COVID and they can't really leave the house. So uh they had something they needed uh and uh i was the only one available so i ran out real quick to help them so seems like everybody's okay though that's good i was a little worried but seems like everybody's recovering Got it for them. No, I didn't have to buy anything. I had to bring stuff. Christmas shopping's hard. I'm not I'm not good at it. Especially when uh when there's not a lot of well there there's a bunch of kids, but um technically I don't buy for them because I like my niece and nephew or whatever. So I'm very bad. Buying gifts is always difficult. Those emotes are adorable. Java's emotes are great. I'm so terrible at it. If you, if you stuff ever wants is like hundreds. Yeah. It's usually like one gift, right? One or two gifts. Or they're older and the only thing they want is money because you can't think of any actual gifts and 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 money's easy right but i'm a, i really like i really want people to be able to open gifts learn how to read oh so i i kind of like having uh like a if i could think of something but i'm not very good at it Which translates to even role play because I can't think of anything uh, fun or creative. But anyway, sorry for the late start. We're here. Uh, yeah, true. I I'm probably going to end up doing it because. Um, my nieces and nephews are getting older. So, you know. They uh can't really buy them toys. <laughs> they're they're older. They're in college. Ready in the Pepe? Yeah, we might play a little a little bit of Pep uh to ready. for an hour or two and then we'll switch over and do a little bit of Pepe air at the barrier stuff is pretty funny but it's uh it's not out of the ordinary what's up Robert and let's be honest People, uh, we have to suspend the belief that people have no common sense or they're not like conscious, I guess. I don't know.
common sense. No, it's not about that. It's kind of about like the warnings give them the ability to counter it, I guess, in, in a PVP sense, right? Because once you warn them, they know what's coming, but then they can act accordingly with a strategy. If you want to think of it like a PVP match, right? Like this is happening. So then we have these options to do now. So that's usually what happens, right? You know, you put down barriers, right? You put down the, the these barriers and, and people just want to push their buttons. They want to push buttons all the time. It's what people like to do. Right. Imagine even before the, the, the concrete barriers went down, imagine there being a bunch of uh, just those regular police barriers lining a, lining a driveway and you have cops with assault rifles in their hands, right? And, uh, and you decide uh, to walk up to it and then start complaining that we're that you get told to leave. Or going in, doing something, and then uh, having consequences to those actions, right? The only way that that would make sense is if you completely suspend the idea of common sense or you being a person with free will. And being able to make your own decisions and think for yourself, right? And if it, it, it's either that, or uh, it's a PvP thing, right? Where you're min-maxing every interaction in in the PvP scenarios. That usually doesn't happen during non-major PvP events, which is. Kind of like the the boosts, the 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 vaults, the 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 big ones, the thirty seven alphas, right? Those are PvP events. It's hard to get a lot of. I mean, you can you can get a bunch of role play in there. I mean, it's always fun to uh, arrest people, uh, and that's usually the only time a lot of the role play comes in, uh, interacting with the cops. But in general, it's like going into a PvP match, right? You have to know. Where the you have to know driving, shooting tactics, where to go, flanking, setting up with your teammates to do certain flanks, setting up to do certain, uh, you know, maneuvers, uh, catch the other guy, because, I mean, it's it's GTA. The shooting uh, and stuff is is not the the best, and and we're playing with people from all around the world with millions different ping million different pings all over the place so it's going to be kind of wonky i guess uh where you know you might shoot somebody and they don't actually get shot but i mean there's desync and then that's kind of how it is so but then it's hard to balance i hate using the word balance but then it's hard to balance pvp versus rp because you have these scenarios, which are fun. Uh, they, they could be fun, but to think that they're mostly RP um, is is uh, I I don't know. It, it's hard to believe. I mean, you have to you have to know the map. <laughs> you have to know where to go, what alleyways you can go in, what's where there's stairs, where there's ladders what jumps you can take with your cars how to take it how to min max that jump to be to get better speed or to land it better you know it's like a pvp event so you mix that with rp and sometimes it gets a little uh, a little funky right people get upset because you get competitive in pvp right playing league with people they're going to get mad if you're losing, right? Or you lose. You're going to have friends angry at each other, yelling at each other, right? This is a, uh, it's a competitive type of thing. Even if it means nothing. I think that's... Even if it means absolutely nothing. You play a normal game where there's no stakes. You're still going to get mad when you lose, right? So if you're playing in no pixel, 
and you're robbing, you're stealing a car and you get caught because something shitty happens, right? Or, uh, the, you know, you're playing as a cop and you lose them because uh, a cop isn't high enough ELO at driving or, or knowing the map as well as you do. Uh, they're going to get mad. Not that that's so, I mean, oh, kind of, I guess it, it's, it's, it's excusable to a certain extent, but not, you know, it's role play. So you gotta, you know, it's not a competitive game in the first place. So, uh, you know, what do you do the, the, in regards to like stakes, it's like you, you boost a car, you're going to get grand theft auto, which is what 20 months you're getting cuffs. You're probably going to end up at most getting five months, 10 months, which if you do it, which gives you 10 months to kind of relax from a big situation and cool down and, and almost <laughs> like waiting for your next match, <laughs> right? Before you go out there, it gives you a little time. I like the, you know, it's nice to have a little downtime. Thank you for the raid, Owen. Appreciate it. Can't wait to do some keys tonight. I streamed yesterday too, but yes, thank God it is because it's going to be like 10 degrees. It's going to be, I think it might be zero uh, degrees this weekend. So thank God it is working. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be 10 degrees on Saturday. Rayla, thank you for the 31 months. Oh yeah, Thursday we are we are doing well, you know, it's a Christmas Christmas with the St. Denis Steelers. But I am going to show this time 100%. Look, I play Pepe. I'm probably going to play some Pepe today. <clears throat> Little Christmas episode with the St. Denis Steelers. I've played Ike. I played Pepe. I'm playing more for Christmas. Plus, we're taking it a little easy this week. You know, for the holidays. Oh, I want to branch out to do a little, some different things. So I do need to make my appearances <clears throat> to, uh, as Toretti, um, no. Do you know the Purdy shuffle on the drums? Uh, I, I used to be pretty good at it when I was playing more consistency consistently I'm not that good at it anymore I haven't played as much and my my ghost notes aren't that great I don't have time for dark and darker I got keys to run okay sorry Laup. ooh that's pretty cool night I level, I think I'm 382 on tau, uh, my blood DK or 380 on my blood DK ish. And then 383 or 382 or something on my uh, mage. I got a lot of stuff I need to do. I've also had some shit luck with the uh, drops. Ooh. Well, Soups is playing uh Demon Hunter and uh and Warrior. So uh I think he's got a pretty good item level. Playing Arcane. I'm gonna play Arcane this week now that it's not quaking. But I really want to try Frost out because I've been uh I've been using it a little bit. I haven't played it much since the since the buffs, but it does 
feel like it's hitting considerably harder um from from some of the stuff i was doing some of the um little testing i was doing today this early this morning and uh last night so we'll see but i'll probably do um i'll probably do try arcane out again today I can't believe you guys rather talk about WoW than my super hot takes on barriers. No. What is this about James Randall? My only question on the new barriers is what would, what about James Randall? And when he eventually comes around and crosses the new barriers, will you shoot him or not? Wouldn't it be kind of funny if he walked into the barriers and just immediately gets shot? I think that's kind of funny. Nobody ever arrests him for the shit he does. <clears throat> but, you know, there's got to be a limit, right? Always got to be a limit, because if you don't start any limits, uh, people will just, uh, you, you, you know, things will never end. You can only extend, quote unquote, extend RP. Garbage term, by the way. I think it's a terrible buzzword used uh, to uh, excuse garbage uh, st stuff from happening. Or garbage stuff from keep happening. Hate that term. I like to use it ironically. It's a cop out. He shoots up CG. Well, that would be. Uh, kind of third partying, right? Uh, I guess uh, we'll just load in then. I think I've said my piece. But I've always kind of felt that way. Um, having no common sense feels kind of lame, right? trying to steal a car or rob a house or something, right? And then you run out of the house with stolen, you know that they robbed the house because, you know, they got stolen stuff in their hands. And, uh, you know, you tell them to stop once and, uh, and then you tase them and then they're surprised. Like, you, you don't think that the cops are going to try to stop you when you're robbing a house? I guess the only other argument is like, how do you know it's not the, the owner of the house running out with the safe? Or how do you know it's not the owner trying to break into his own car? Well, if they run, it makes uh, that argument goes out the window because then they're definitely under arrest, right? But people don't want that because they want to be able to min max the, the, the interaction, right? That's usually what happens, right? You need to stay stop so that they can know when to uh, do certain things. Okay, 
they said stop oh gotta call the 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 pickup car or oh they said stop now it's time to take the drugs don't take them yet because you got time and if you can get away without taking it uh then you're good but if you didn't then wait until they say stop oh they said stop once okay now we have to take the drugs because they're going to try to tase us now or wait did they say they're going to tase us no not yet okay then we're good and we can keep running and keep uh, biding time for the pickup driver. Oh, wait, they said they're going to spike the car. Okay, make sure you're going five miles an hour so we can drive over the spikes. You know? It's, it's, that's what it's for. You should know when you're committing a crime that the cops are going to try to catch you. You, you pit a cop car in a chase, right? You should expect to have something bad happen to you. But we have to warn people because we have to give them the chance to either leave or know when the next part of their strategy is going to come in, right? It's like a mini PvP event. You have strategy. You have a team. You have a map. You know where you're going to go. You, go. you know where you're going to flank. You know where you're going to take the cars, you know which jumps you're going to use, you know, and you organize it and with your team. And there are many PvP events, and people are very skilled at it. They're very good tactically. Because it is a video game. And people like to do fun stuff like that in a video game. Just the problem comes in when it's also an RP server, right? You want to know why it's a good example of like there being like a, a harder disconnect between those two? When you're in a, it's very difficult for a bunch of, uh, most, a lot of people, not everybody. Some people are very talented to be able to keep, keep it going, at least for their voice and stuff. But a lot of the times what you'll see is when we're in a chase or we're in a big situation, uh, you'll kind of drop whatever your character is for that time, right? Because you need to make the right call outs. You need to know what the tactical, what you're going to do tactically. You got to know what the strategy is. You got to know where you're going to go. You got to set people up for where they're going to go. And they'll kind of drop that thing and they'll make comms like they're playing League of Legends or, or Counter-Strike or I guess Valorant or whatever, right? That's a, that's a, good, that, that's a good example of why it's so difficult for a lot of these situations especially when they get really kind of sweaty so Okay. Let's play a little bit. I think I said my piece. Who cares? Let me make sure this is good. Where's PP? Guys, please. Can I do a wrong character? I said I was going to play some Toretti. I do have some obligations. <laughs> I can't just like fuck off completely. Not fair. We'll do an hour or two and then we'll swap. Oh, I don't see the we do not care emo. I've seen it. It's a good one. <clears throat> oh, Silas Grimmer's around. Look at this. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, Roy I think gave me this machete because he's he's a nice guy. Speak to you. Hey Rose. Need stuff. What are you doing? Uh just just getting here, you know? It's a little late today. A late start. Getting some stuff. You think Ty Silas talked behind Therese back today? Silas? Oh, of course. 100%. That's all he does. He's a delusional man. Silas is uh, almost as delusional as uh, playing uh, WoW with Thrive. Oops, no, I was talking about his character, Silas. All right. Uh, what do I need? I need armor. Uh, how many? Two, three. Oops is actually convinced. Well, he does. He does do pretty good DPS. The only problem is, is he does. He also doesn't do mechanics. So. And then complains about every mechanic because it doesn't let him just uh, DPS. Usually what happens. Okay. All these cute things. Hey, Dragon Fight's pretty fun, man. If you need something to do and there's not much else, but I heard that Dark and Darker game's kind of fun. Uh, Dragon Dragon Fight's pretty good. Just getting sorted out, but I was wondering if you had that cram bit. Uh, we gotta ask. Uh, Shelby, I cannot uh, remember where I, it is. I, I asked her earlier. She said she had no idea. Shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> Give me a second. I think I might know. Where did I put them? I put them somewhere. Did we give them all out? Okay, it's not there. Hmm. Put it in like SDSO Karambits. Or is it SDSO FTO? CSO FTO. But I don't feel as bad uh, if, if, if Shelby can't remember either. Well, look, I'm not the only one that can't remember where we put him. I can't remember if we gave him all out, though. Um, there was a lot of them, but I can't. Oh, my God. Did we put it in the place where we put the... Uh... How would she know? Because I told her. I'm pretty sure we... What the hell? Oh, it's not there. What the hell was all that? Oh, I got it. Hell yeah. Blonde, thank you for the 54 biddies. Appreciate it. All right. Found him. There you go. You remember what we were talking about <clears throat> yesterday regarding mm -hmm. like ideas for Shelby? Mm -hmm. I thought of a great idea. What's that? So in Mirror Park, there is like a little Christmas holiday marketplace. I think it'd be really cute if you guys went and like walked around it. You can like apparently like there's little shops and everything. Might be nice. Oh. 
That would be nice. Uh, it's at a mirror park. Mm -hmm. It's um, by the lake. I, uh, I walked around it this morning. Nobody... Well, you know, no one really... Okay, I, I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah. No one will shoot me. I mean, it's... I can bring it's some... like a holiday, you know, <laughs> thing. I, I don't think people will be too aggressive, you know? Oh, uh, well... Kind of Grinches, if they did anything. Sizz is kind of a Grinch. Anyways, it was just an idea, you know? <laughs> it's a good idea. We should... We will do that. Um, Chris and I also got you and Shelby something for Christmas. You didn't need um, to do that. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, Chris. Uh, you'll like it. Meech. Um, it's at my house though. Are, are you going to be around tomorrow or? <sighs> or excuse me. It's at Chris's house as uh, he likes to Oof. say. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can be around tomorrow. Okay. Um, or I can, I can just give it to you, but I just need a ride home. Do you want to, you don't want to do it with, uh, with Chris around? I don't know when he'll be around. Ooh. So <laughs> what about, what about Friday? Uh, yeah, we could do Friday. Okay. Um, Friday's better because after the meeting, I guess. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I can get him to be around for that. Yeah, that's perfect, because then um, we can, yeah, because, yeah, let's do that Friday, because I'll be around. Gotta okay. give my no plan for Friday. son his present, so. I beg your pardon? I have to give my son his present later. I don't know, I might do it today, I don't know. What'd you get him? <sighs> uh. An attitude adjustment? <laughs> He does need that. Uh, yeah, I'll something like that. I'll tell you once. Uh, once once we give it to him. Okay. He is a he is kind of a jerk lately. I don't know what's going on. I well, you know, it's the been watching those YouTube videos about women. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm waiting to talk to Cooper. I guess. Oh. I got him a card, but he's, he's just, he just won't look up from his, his computer downstairs. Oh, I wonder what he's doing. Better not be wasting all our money. Hmm. Hello. Got him. Anyways, nice to see you. And yeah, nice to see you. Let's see what's going on with Silas. Later. I don't want to say what I got him. I don't want to be mad at What the hell? Big T, help. <laughs> help, Big T. What happened? There's no help where you're going. Got myself a couple of snowballers. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds like you can handle that one. Gross. Yeah, I'm arresting them. Don't think that's illegal. Uh, what do you mean? They, they assaulted a man with snowballs. <laughs> that is illegal. Oh, okay. You said something different. My bad. What else would you call someone chucking snowballs at people? Oh, are you charging snowballers? Them? Mm, sure. Yeah. Are uh, you? What are you charging with? Assault with a deadly or assault with a? No, it's probably just assault and battery. Okay. Yeah. Snowballs are deadly weapons now. <laughs> you can <laughs> come on, big team. You can articulate anything being a deadly weapon, Silas. Well, I'm a, I am a genius. That's true. I can articulate anything. <laughs> Any period. Technically, any nice. anything that's not your fist could be articulated as a deadly weapon. Uh, my fists are deadly, so. Uh, good luck having that hold up in court. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? You know, you hey, missed the command need meeting. I to give you something before. Command. The present stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, not good. Oh, hold on. So I apparently I just I missed a very important meeting. Uh, what was that? Sorry. Just in case you do, Rose. Thank you. Do, do you want me to talk to you in a bit? No, it's already over. It doesn't matter. I missed it because I just got here. What was up? Um, I got our holiday cards printed. Oh, awesome! Well, I'm I need to go print them right now, but I I'm, okay. I have them all done. I just have to print them. Oh, awesome! Do you need? Um, you want me to meet you over there or something? 
Yeah, if you want to, and you can see it. And then I have one other thing to give you that I've already given everyone else. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, you want me to meet you down at that place? What is it called? Yes. Pastels. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'll come down there I'll, in a moment. Yeah, I'll leave the door open so you can go in there. Okay. Okay, I'll see you some bye. Bye bye. There's no one named Kyle Rogan in Ramsey Bay. I'll call you back in a second, Silas. He has my car. Hey, Dan. Um, <clears throat> Miss Cooper from the SDSO, by the way. Um, I had a question for you. Um, I, I heard something about uh, you going for the job for one of our deputies, so I figured out and inquire. What's going on? <laughs> Stupid deliveries. All right. I guess I'll just, I'll drive this for now. Snowing. Docket Dan at it again. This is out of gas. Pepe was a lie? What? I don't get it. Wh what do you guys want? You guys want Pepe? Do you want uh, me to never play Toretti now ever again? It's like... I can't even go on this character anymore. I'm, I'm playing... Pepe later. I just... I need it. I need to be on the sir. I wasn't on the server at all yesterday. Is that DuPont? It is. Argue about the barrier. Who am I going to okay, argue? Sorry. Sorry about that. Bye. Hello? Did you talk to me? No, no, no. Why? You did not say hello to me. You were on the phone and you oh. were, you had, a, I wasn't, you were just standing there. I just didn't want to interrupt you. Yes. Okay. Bye. Okay. Today, I wish I was in your meeting. Today, oh. I wish that for the first time ever. Well, it was something. What happened? Um, <laughs> barriers talk. Oh, the barriers. Oh, no, man. It was bad. Dan ended up insulting everyone. Peak was screaming at everyone. Dan is a piece, a piece of shit. You're right. It was I crazy. hate. I, I hate go. Dan. Yeah. You hate him? Dan? Oh, absolutely. He's a, he's trying to kill cops. No, not Dan. Oh. Dan. Oh, Dan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, did you know what? Uh, I... Dan Faley got promoted to uh, sergeant yesterday. I got to go. Well, I appreciate Malton for making it. Uh, uh, making sure that Silas and nobody in my department ever leaves with that, uh, with that one. Well, that's good. It was very nice of him to do that. Sorry for griefing you yesterday, but at least you got a bank job. Listen, I was going to talk about this, but there's something really... The one thing I really like... Does SDSO not abide by the barriers? Oh, no, we run through them. Um, we put them down everywhere we go and we leave them there. Uh, I love... Uh, being not at the top. I like playing Pepe because I can just be... <laughs> yes yes sir yes ma'am hey boss 
I, I just like that. I don't need to be at the top on everything. So it is enjoyable to do stuff like that. Also, it's going to be really nice to really see if I can uh, grief Vigors a little bit with uh, like he does uh, when he's on Vingle. So. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And I'll be playing them. I'm, I'm, I'll be on them in a, in a couple hours. Maybe sooner. You guys can't hear the game, the audio in the game. Oh, don't, don't worry, Craig. I got some ideas for how to get them. Hey, hey so we got a package at the SDSO. Really? Okay. Yeah, I signed for it for well, you. Thank you. I'll be uh I'll be over there in a second. I gotta go grab something down here. Okay. And then uh hey, uh I just ran into DuPont. Yeah. She told me that Malton promoted Dan Faley to oh. sergeant. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, DuPont said Malton did it? Oh, well, it wasn't her because she couldn't even say it without laughing. Well, interesting. Yeah, it definitely had to be Malton, so. That's a definitely interesting. I want to ask you a question him about that yeah. decision making of his. Well, you know, seem right. uh, it's not something I would ever do, yeah. so. Yeah, fantastic. I, I'm glad I'm the same rank as that asshole. <laughs> Go get your package. Also, Apparently now Pooper decided to show his fucking face. I need to talk to you too. It's important. Okay. Because we have a uh, someone pulled a uh, pretty <laughs> heinous shit. Apparently. Uh oh, a B and E. Shit. Okay. Damn it. I'll be up there soon. I've got to. I, I I gotta grab something and I'm coming. Yeah. Whatever. Grab this. What? <laughs> Where am I? Hello. Am I in the right place? Where the fuck am I? I don't think I am. I think it's the front door. Oh! I thought she's gone in there before. Is it here? Is this it? <sighs> Hello? You were in the right place. I was? Oh, it was locked. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that I had the other door locked. I okay, just have to, I still have to print it because I messed up one of the pages. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Okay. Bye. Bye. Every vendor guy with headphones is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the cute outfit, honey. He said, was, was giving gifts. Oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it looks so well, I print these funny. A couple things I want you to open. Yeah, that's very uh, tight. I'm just gonna focus this way. Was it uh, not supposed to be in the dryer? Are you shitting me? Was not what not that, supposed to be in the dryer? That shirt. Well, the, what this this whole thing? I'm wearing it as intended. <laughs> okay, go in my pockets, and the two that have your name on it. While I go and work on that. <clears throat> okay. And I, so no one can see it. Go like this. Inappropriate. You want me to open them right now or should I hold on to them? Yeah, I have more things on Friday. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me just. Okay. You. Oh. Huh. There's a lot of. Well, why so much? So. Why'd you tie so many knots? I wrapped them really nicely and I want you guys to take the time to appreciate it. And that is my gift that comes back to me is by this. Oh, you. All right, yeah, it's just 
I didn't know you were so good at tying knots and it's a little tough. I think, oh, I think this knot is, yeah, this, okay, this knot is, oh, this is, you know, those, oh, it, yeah, I think you pulled this one a little too tight. It's just like a ball now. Oh, I can't, un, I'll get we'll just, it. I got it. Let me just rip it. What do you want our uh, Christmas card? What the hell is she saying? On the Jesus Christ. Uh, Mary, no, we can't, you gotta be careful. Happy holidays. Oh, I put uh -oh. Merry Christmas for one of them. Well, that's um, hopefully that's okay, right? She'd be fine. We're not gonna offend anybody. Oh, look at this little thing, the 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 doll. Yeah, open the second one. Which one? Wait, which one is it? It's the one. It's like a little doll, limited edition. Yeah, which one is it? Uh, it's of me. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I'm just. Yeah, more more not some like tying my shoe like twelve times. <laughs> Fine, you just not want the rest of the gifts that I. I didn't say that. I'm just saying it's. I'm sorry, it's taking so long. I, I may have been <laughs> really tired, and you know when I was wrapping them. Uh. Shadiko, if you're here, please uh, play cops so you can shoot people. Oh, look at this one. It's oh, it's a and it, it's they got the they got the bobbleheads. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Thank you. I. I appreciate it. It's adorable. And it's not all the Christmas series left. Really? You got more for me, honey? I have to do that. Like, this is makes me look okay. so um, makes me look bad. Now go and grab one of the. I'm gonna draw her a picture. Cards. One of them. Okay. And then you can take as many as you want if you want to hand them out. Oh, okay. These, these top ones, the holiday yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. How many do you want me to take? How many as many as you want? I took uh, fifteen. There, you know, there's a hundred there, right? Okay, I'll take twenty-five. Should I take more. I'll take. I'll take thirty. Okay. Thirty-five. Forty's good. I'm good. Forty. I'm good. Yeah. I gave everyone else a uh, coal and cocoa and then their Funko Pop if I already had it made. What the hell? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, the horse! Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, it came out perfect. Yeah, I had someone else work on it. The chick, just, uh, the little chickens. The horse. Oh my God, it's everybody. Did you see both cards in there? Uh, no, I haven't gotten there yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this one's. Think we should give people this one? Well, the second like one? It, it, well, it's like a Christmas <laughs> thing from both of us. Like, we have our family one, and then, you know. Do you not want that in there? Uh, no, I don't mind it. I do like. You no, know, you are hot, so. You should, sure you're good with that one? Yes. I'm, look at my hot ass girlfriend. Are you shitting me? Oh, Herbido, also, thank you. That's three. awesome. Did you draw? Did you do that? Because it's amazing. 
What's this? Yeah, in my, my pockets again. My obvious pockets that I have on me, right? <clears throat> what is it? Which one? The, the laminated? Mm-hmm. Oh. I got our, our, our pictures laminated. Is this open? Oh, it's amazing. Neat. This one's so good. Grabbed one of both of them, right? Oh no, I just I was looking at. I, I, I was seeing it. I wasn't sure if I could, uh, you know, use it. You want me to? You no. want me? I could take them both. Yeah, you can take them both. I have a couple copies made. Thank you. Also, Rosa's asking <sighs> about the Karambit locker. I didn't even know what locker. I found it. <laughs> I got everything. This brain—it's like a supercomputer. I remember it all. Like a solid-state hard drive. Well, you didn't really help yourself by not telling me where you're putting them or else I would have been able to help I could have sworn I did. <laughs> no, you didn't because I didn't even get one of those crambits. Oh, I'll go I'll go get you one. Wait, you didn't get one? You didn't take no. one? Oh, okay. I thought no, you took one you when took we got them, them all, all. And then No, no, because you oh. took them all and then you put them away. I got distracted. Okay. It's, uh, it's in 941.2. Like, I want to grab one. Oh, I'm off. Right now. All right. You want me to go grab you one? Sure. Okay. Because I gotta go talk to Silas. He says it's extremely important. So, if you wanna meet me up there? I'll give you the Grambit okay. or can. Okay. Are you sure you want the 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 one of both of us in there? Because I can take that one out. No, 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 no. I. That's fine. I'll send you the hard copies though. <laughs> I love you. Can hear the bells. A jingle. I, I hear that, yeah. <laughs> Where's Rick is very mad because I gave him coal. You gave him coal? <laughs> yeah. Well that's two minutes. Well he got hot cocoa also, but it's Oh okay. Well he got the hot cocoa. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, honey. I'll uh Rose said she has something she wants to see. Uh I was gonna See you on Friday. So, okay. did, what time was that her house? Friday, so we can make sure Pelvis. We we have our family thing with all the gifts that I probably uh, later at night. Okay. Well, not too late, but you know, probably like maybe three hours from now. We'll see. You're not gonna be stuck at the computer reading things. Oh, sh no. Yeah. Hold on. You want it for I don't think we're. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Damn it. Unless you want to do it later tonight. We'll do it uh, an hour, like, like two hours from now then. Okay. On Friday. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, because I have other things. So there, you have Christmas cards you can hand out if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, I'll go give one to Silas. Okay. All right. I got to go meet him for the, whatever this is. Fuck. Forgot about that. Well, I guess I'm not raiding on Thursday. That's okay. St. Denise Steelers takes priority. Sorry. Hello. I'm on the way. Well, Jesus, Big T, you better hurry up. Because your package is, a, is, is your package is a person, and they've been what? freezing. 
outside why don't you you're leaving them outside okay i'm driving as all right i'm don't tell they anybody but i just signed for it so i just I can't, what do you want me to okay do? i kicked on the turbo so i'm on the way i'm on the highway i'm on los Whoa, santos no freeway speed. i got my lights on oh it's it's not really i don't think there's a reason to have your lights on oh okay then i'll slow down all right yeah 75 you know the drill i don't want to go to big c with you you know speeding down his highway he's not gonna like that whatever he comes around again so maybe after right. three weeks do you think i think we we are we can do that though i think he allows us to he just doesn't want other people doing it isn't that kind of hypocritical it's pretty bad is it yeah i mean what, what are we're, you, like we're trust sin? we're trustworthy you know he, does, he knows we're not gonna we're not disrespecting the highway by doing it we respect the highway because it we respect like him use of power big t i don't want to have to i mean you know i'm co-lead of ia right yeah yeah you are yeah co-lead yeah, of ia yeah. i don't yep. know why you sound like that <laughs> co-lead of ia who are you co-leading it with uh like seven or eight other people so everybody in so it's like a it's like a co-op everybody's the, the yeah. lead of ia yeah. yeah doesn't mean i'm not co-lead there's no one above me so therefore i am co-lead i i thought co-lead would mean there were isn't that more of like a two people thing? wrong has nothing to do with two okay all right sure i'm uh, i'm getting off the highway now i'm almost there all right I'm going to starve to death. Octavius Scarp Basses take oh no 423 isn't isn't bass anymore. Who's 423 now? Odo. All right. Oh it's hey. ah, Mr. Peretti. How's it going? It's going all right. Can you sign him? Oh, absolutely. Uh Dodo, huh? I'm uh you know I'm the spokesperson for the maybe that's who sent this for you because it don't have a oh really you think they yeah, is this addresses. like a thank you for all the maybe <laughs> all right oh, <laughs> no son one second here <laughs> no it looks like you ought to have a sexy set of a time oh what? Hey, there they are. Hey, stripper Ricky. What the hell is this? Putting the ho 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 in the holiday. All right. Someone's been a naughty boy. <laughs> Let's stuff those stockings. Yeah, stuff me. Stuff uh, I got my list. I'm checking it oh, twice. Oh, you've been naughty, not nice. Whoa. <laughs> oh, big T. I... Merry Christmas. Who... Silas, is this from you? Oh, I don't know who sent you this. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I'm sorry to think you did this yourself. You I did yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. This whole Christmas thing not oh Shelby heard about this. Yeah, not a good look. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. You hired a No, no, no. I didn't hire. No, no, no. Perfect. Okay. No, no. We got the pictures at all. No pictures, please. Yeah, not not a good look. Can I get look, a copy Big of this? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, how much for a copy? Yeah, we're going to okay, need Merry, Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome to ready. Oh, you get a tipper or what? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, let me get some. I Just need to throw perfect. it at me. Uh, well, let me get some. Let me get some. I need some ready. cash. 
I don't know how to throw money at people. Isn't it like oh, throw yeah, yeah, cash yeah. or something? Roll cash? Uh. Yeah, no, I gotta get the right. I gotta get the right. Okay. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, you can call me Flossy. Flossy. Oh. Are you gonna tip her or what? Yeah, yeah. I'll. Oh, look, I'll here, on. here's your. Come on. Oh, that's that's my taser. That's, that's oh, that's my oh, taser too. Oh, wow, wow. That, that's far too kinky. Okay, I not. Kinky they know. Here you go, ma'am. Yeah. There you uh, go. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was. That All right. Like really good timing. Okay. Thank you. Uh, for uh this. Who who sent who sent this? Awesome. You know who sent this? I'm not quite sure. You're not sure who said this. Just happy to be here. Oh, thank you. Just happy to be here. Yeah. That's a good appreciate one. It. Ain't okay. Wait, I didn't see. You. I want to see it. That's a real good appreciate one. The... Hey, T, you look pretty happy too. I'm not what happy at all. I, I'm, well, I'm not, not happy. Oh, okay. I need that. What is that oh, picture? Shit. I can't see. I don't want to see it. That's I a good cool one. <laughs> look at him. Yeah, throw that thing up again. Don't. <laughs> I've never seen someone so happy before. Look at that. Oh my god. He's so excited. So filled with joy. Not, I'm not. Uh, hey, listen. I need to listen. Uh, something just happened. This was not. I I came up to, I came up to SDSO, and they had a package I had to sign for, and it was like a stripper. You ordered it. I didn't order it. Oh. And they took pictures. I don't know who sent it. They said they don't have any record of who sent it. Who took pictures? Uh, the guy who the the MC was this guy was like the the MC from a strip club. He was like, hey, uh, who's naughty or nice? Check it. it was I don't know. Listen, I had nothing to do with this. I, I I tipped her because I felt everyone made me feel bad, like I was an asshole. So I had to give her money. But I had nothing to do with this. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why you're apologizing because i think they're gonna do it i'm this. just i just wanted to get ahead of this before something bad happens because i'm sure it's going to be up, down, no, before up on someone the... came up and said that you ordered a stripper to strip for you inside of sdso I and twisted it that way instead of you just telling me yes so that's why i wanted to get ahead of ahead of everything i didn't pay for this i had nothing to do with this i don't need a stripper well, I mean, honey. Technically, technically did pay for okay it. i did okay you're right but i had to i had no choice listen I, if i didn't i felt like an asshole this I, know, I get it. I, I get it. I, I would have done the same. I feel bad. They made me throw it at her too. If it was not, I did not was not comfortable with that. No, I, I know. Okay. Oh, I know. Okay. Um, I, I believe you. It's, it's okay. Fine. All right. Fantastic. Thank. Hey, thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Uh, good luck with you. your uh, your doctorate, ma'am. Hope you make it through. What do you mean? What do you mean? Isn't that what you're doing? Isn't that what? what, the, what? Oh, you're yeah, not. You're fun. not in school. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Coffee. All right. Well. Enjoy. Uh. Everything. Thank you. Pizza. I, I don't have. That's Friday. Flossy. It's Woo Yeah Wednesday. Oh, it was Flossy. She was doing it. Hey. Wait, you're doing something with her on Friday? No, she want. No, she asked for pizza again. Hey, Big T. I got to talk to you about oh, something okay. when you're done. With yeah. Let's uh. Let's go. Right? There's no strippers. I'm not. I'm done with the strippers, Silas. But do you, uh, I need money. No, I need. I need yeah, food. Silas not a good look. No, a okay. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. That makes so and much Cooper. more sense. Yeah, I. I know. Trust me. I trust you. I know that you wouldn't do something like that to me, uh, right? No, of course not. Why would I? I mean, you. You could see through the elf costume, right? Yep. That's. Uh, I could. Aren't you cold? Well, you are. You are cold. Oh, I know you oh, are. Yes. yes. Yes, I am. Okay, I will see when uh when you get home because I'm I'm spreading holiday cheer right now. Uh, yeah, okay, what? goodbye. I'm getting on Pepe. I can't. I can't. What is going on today? All right. Apologies. Yeah. Might want to do something with the bananas. Still have we we're well, still Keon. Here. I've been asking Keon to to clean it up, but he hasn't done well, shit. I haven't seen I'm him. I'm hiring a new janitor. Okay. Paul Costello. Are we sure that's a good idea? Yeah. 
Carmine's brother. Yeah, you should. Oh, God. Because do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, What's up, Kate? I mean, he seemed like... He's done... Uh, he's he actually did a pretty good job last time, but he is very expensive. L last time? You've hired him before? No, somebody... I think Willie did, uh, but he charged fit, like ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. He wants twenty seven k a week. No, Ooh, that's that's a prank. Not well, a chance. Gonna clean, I said he, his first job is to clean up all the bananas. So we'll see if he gets the job done. I'm not paying that guy twenty seven thousand dollars a week to be a janitor. You know what happened? Uh, what? Keon tried to arrest Paul, <laughs> and then Keon lost in a bench trial. Jeez. He's kind of a big L. Yeah, huge L actually. <laughs> Anyways, we need to talk about. Colt Shepard. Colt Shep. Okay. Yeah. So there's a report by Dan. If you want to find the report, just type in Dan because I tried typing in the report Dan. number. Dan. Dan. Oh, Bailey, it's a report. The sergeant of, it's not. of the VPD. The sergeant of the VPD. It's uh six seven one zero two. Yeah. I put incident that in report. My FDW, yes. It didn't incident show report. Up, so six seven one zero two. It's. You can't see it. Just type in Dan. I typed in that, couldn't find it. My MDW wasn't working. Anyways. I got to do MDW essentially stuff. Essentially what probably. happened was at a wedding or something, well, this guy was pissed because another guy took his cool line at the wedding. It's like if it's like if Pooper gave a eulogy instead of me and was stealing from my eulogy, I would be furious too. But uh, the guy made a criminal threat, so Colt put him in, in cuffs. And while in cuffs, Dan overheard Colt and the suspect talking and the suspect said let me go I'm going to go kill that guy and eventually and Colt actually uncuffed him and act, and then dropped a gun for him and then the guy went and shoot and went to go shoot the guy and now Dan wants to charge Colt with a temp, uh, accomplice to the murder for uncuffing and giving him the weapon yeah it's attempted first degree so it's, it's not really a good look Have you talked to Colt about this? Yeah, let's, let me just, yeah, where, where is he? Was he down the hall to the left? What do you mean? No, of course not. No, we haven't, I haven't seen the guy in months. Did Dan talk to Colt? Apparently, Dan hasn't had the chance were, yet. They were both there, though. Dan saw the whole thing, and when he did, came to me. You're telling me the Sergeant Dan didn't do anything on the, at the time of this incident? He didn't. Uh, well, here's what he, he came to me. And all I know is he's not pushing anything yet. He wants to know what the SDSO wants to do. And as the sergeant of the SDSO, I made the call that we were going to have another SDSO panel and we just need to set it up. So right. all of command can be there. And then Dan and Colt will be there giving, you know, their side to the story. I know Tessa's a witness. Uh, we can bring in a, the vic. I want to question actually Tesla and the victim. Oh to my see god! If they heard anything or know anything? Why? Uh, Dan this is can't giving be us, serious. This can't be true. You know, There's no way this is what happened. Until we say it's okay, or we agree or disagree with what he's doing, we're doing the panel first. He's willing to wait the full sixty days to give us enough time <sighs> to get this thing, you know, figured out. Yeah, so we so we have a ample time after the holidays. We have ample time. Yeah. Also, what Dan told me when I spoke to him was that he uh, he sent Colt away from the scene after this incident just because he was snooping around, and Dan didn't want him to actually, you know, try and pick up evidence or whatsoever. Why didn't he just? He should have been suspended on the spot. What was Dan doing? I'm telling you, I don't, he, I don't he think he Dan just... wanted to step on any uh, any toes. I what? To think that's okay, important. that doesn't make any sense. He's a sergeant. You see a guy who's dropping a gun for a criminal was this before or after his promotion. It doesn't matter. He's a corporal then. Well, he did. Not what he did. If you want to question him, go ahead. Give him a call. I'm telling you right now, he is not pushing the attempted accomplice to attempt oh, a first degree murder. Until we say, you know, we get our shit figured out first. So obviously, we need to talk to Cole, get his side of the story. Don't know when anyone's ever going to see him, though. Uh, I want to do a panel with Cole and Dan. 
uh, and, and see, you know, give their side of the story. We can ask questions. We can figure out what we think. Yeah, Colt uh, is very late into my shift, but even then it's pretty sporadic that I actually see him. It doesn't come around all too often. Uh, okay. How do you know? Sorry, I'm just mumbling to myself. Okay, because I, I had more hours than you. Well, hold on. When I mumbled high command, I, you know, you're are you like talking high, about high command? Hold on, you're, talking about you're not talking C. about the champ. Who? He's fired, isn't he? Yeah, you fired him. Come on, you still got to show some respect. The poor guy. Oh well, yeah, of course. But the reality is, we don't have anyone active, and besides you, and that in what high a, command. What about what? Because command can't do anything. No, I, what did I just say? All I right. said was he's more active than our high right. command, which is is true. Right. Well, thank God we have command members who can do pretty much yeah, the same like, thing. Like Sergeant Dan Feely. I met in our department. Not not that one because he, he has shown over and over again he does not know how to uh, do his job as a command member or a leader in any capacity. Proven by the Ingvar case. And now this. Look, well, I get this is the first thing that Dan needs to do. Nugget. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I saw Winston was a sergeant as well. Chicken nut. Winston is a chicken nut. What was that? He's got no. He doesn't have an arm. Yeah, I think he's making yeah. his arm. Okay, but doesn't. Well, it's technically, Cooper, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't he have to have no arms to be called a chicken nugget? I mean, with how often no limbs, he's, he's in the hospital. Oh, you know, that's true. He's, he's getting close. Yeah. Okay, well, Winston's around. He's usually a... Uh, oh, I haven't yeah, had too many yeah, problems. Yeah. But uh, the first thing that should probably happen is Dan should probably talk to Colt about what happened, figure out what he did, uh, why he did it, get his side of the story as a sergeant, and then if he doesn't like the uh, what he says and why he did it, then uh, he should probably suspend him or strike him or come to us to have the panel. But this is a fairly serious situation regarding assisting a criminal by giving him a gun to shoot Very somebody. Serious. Yeah, that's what I said as well. I. It's 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 just like chicken wing. That's a good one. That's like it, Julio. You should go to the talk in all honesty, like. But how serious it is. No, but... he should. Well, it could, but he also yeah, has his job on the line. No, the, yeah. Go, those, those goes to the panel. That's way more important than the docket. Uh, the panel gets more done than the docket's going to get done. Yes, the SO panel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll try to reach out to Colt, set up a thing probably uh, either, probably after Christmas. Maybe not. Maybe That's before fair. New Year's, but after Christmas. I'd say after the holidays entirely, but okay. It doesn't hurt to ask. You know, the but the quicker we can move on stuff like this, the 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 less it, you know, right, just festers or settles or rots. Well, Dan's given us sixty days, so we have plenty of time. We could also ask Ripley if he can uh, help us get a get a hold of him. Oh, yep, true. So. Oh, I don't get oh, it. That's a, oh, Dupont's yeah. a trooper. Well, there goes Malden's department. What? Uh, Dan gets promoted and loses Dupont. Well, that's weird. <laughs> but honestly, I I like Dupont a lot. She was one of the main reasons why, you know, I wouldn't mind going to the VPD. Because if she's, well, she's like gone superior, now, it's, that's pretty yeah, bad. You know, I was at a meeting last she's night. She's still your superior. Aren't they Ugh. like technically our rank? Who? If they're troopers? Troopers. No, they're lieutenants. I well, believe. she's a lieutenant. She's a, a she's high command. She got promoted oh, to like yeah. whatever Malton's high command is. But what the hell's high command of troopers called? High trooper. I don't know. Captain? I don't know what her rank is going to be as a trooper. 
the hell? The troopers are poaching all the good ones. Isn't that the kind of the point of the troopers? I guess I'm next. Sorry, Big T. You know, I was at a meeting yesterday, a debrief, something to say, and uh, Malden's department is in shambles. Of course, Din they promoted Dan, the sergeant. No, no, listen. Dan Shiesty, his assistant chief, went up to the podium, started uh, <laughs> insulting insulting everyone, and then walked out when people told him he's wrong. Is he having a... Oh, well, he, he could be. a bigger man. Dan... It's not a good look. Is Dan having... Look at what's, what's going on? Is he all right? Is he having, like, a mental break or something? Dan or Dan? Dan. Oh, Dan. It was not a good look. Even his own command, Gunner, almost everyone in the room disagreed with him, and then he walked out all mad and called us all idiots. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. That sounds like something I would do. Huh. What do you insult them about? You didn't hear him? He said he called them all idiots. Why? Yeah, he was. Uh... I'm asking for a context. So there was like a shootout at the movie set, you know, typical shit. Marlo owns shit. the movie set. Yeah, Marlo uh, <laughs> tried to get past the barriers after being warned several times. And then, you know, in a debrief discussion came up whether he should have been shot or not. He was warned through 311s, he would have warned through. And Marlo still went through other... the barriers? Yeah, he still attempted to try and get through the barriers, <laughs> yeah. Attempted? What does that even mean? Yeah. Like, he drove his fucking Lambo, you know, slightly over it and trying to get closer and closer. From what it sounded, it sounds like he was trying to test his little limit. He should have been no. shot. He should have just, yeah, just shoot him. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Marlo, Marlo's... Wait, was please. Dan Dan against or for shooting him? Oh, he was against. He said, oh, but if we're, <laughs> we're going to get in trouble if that happens and, you know, it's going to be like a lawsuit and blah, blah, blah. No, it isn't. And everyone else was like, befalls on them. If they drive true, befalls on them. And Maybe he was then questioning he us all the idiots. morality of it. Because obviously, because of the new legislation, he can't possibly sue anyone. But maybe he was just questioning the morality of the legislation. Yeah, but that's something you'd have to take up with DOJ and not be mad at us for, you know? Yeah, it's called deflecting. Yeah. Sometimes you just get frustrated and mad. You get a last shout, like, Big T, you stink. And then you leave. Maybe once the dust settles, he'll apologize and be the bigger man about it. <laughs> uh, but I heard yeah. the meeting today wasn't good either. Or were you talking oh. about the meeting today? As DuPont well, said, I, I saw DuPont earlier, and uh, she said, it, this was the first day ever I wished I was at your meeting. It was awful. Oof. Oof. Our meeting was amazing. There was no pooper. <laughs> I popped off. I rallied the troops. <laughs> Dude, for what? Why are you so upset? Why are you oh, I have something for you guys. There, you asshole. You guys, look, you guys should... Need to get along. I got something for I'm each of you. I'm going to text. I'm going to text DuPont instead I've of. been trying for the past year. There you go. For you guys. Maybe if you used something other than butter product for your hair, <laughs> you'd be more approachable. Where's my contact? I'm trying to get along with you with like fuck for right. a year. What do you mean? What is this? Oh, that's. Do I have DuPont's number? DuPont and I's text messages are hilarious. Actually, let me see if I can. <laughs> let me see. She used to try to frame me way back when. Is this? It? Let's see where it is. Oh, a Christmas card. How nice. Oh, this is it. <laughs> uh, bah, humbug. <laughs> she tried to frame Merry me. Merry Christmas to you too, Big T. Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Uh, is that John Cop? Uh, yeah. Now, one how's, of he, how's, 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 he, how's John doing? Uh, last I saw him, he jumped into the ocean. I think he missed the island. I don't know. Hopefully, he'll be. I don't know. Hopefully, he's he didn't drown. I, I don't tried know if to it's trace like the angle, but you don't look anything like this. Huh? Yeah, you look way more like suave and handsome, but 
I think it might be the angle because you don't look. Yeah, that, that that's kind of that's definitely the angle. I think it's the angle. Well, that's not true. Oh, thank you, Big D. I appreciate this. Of course. Although I have no one and nobody to spend Christmas. Where's with. Manny? Uh, did she break out? <laughs> Manny, uh, where'd she go? You could have a wonderful Christmas with Manny. I'm sure she'd love to have a nice, wonderful Christmas dinner with you. And did did you forget the the code of the padlock? No, she should still be in the closet. But sometimes when I get home, she's missing. What was that about? Probably needs to maybe use the bathroom or not sit in a closet all day. She's she's not kept there against her will, right? Of course not. Okay. Oh, depends. If she's in timeout. Uh-huh. Time. How does she get into timeout? Talks too much. <laughs> Talks too much. Specifically during Wheel of Fortune. Specifically during Wheel of Fortune. Okay. You know, I mean, it's one thing for her to talk a lot. But when she talks so much and it's and it's during like, you know, the big moment. <laughs> Don't worry. Elena absolutely so smokes his ass. The, save it for the commercials. What are you doing? He's just lucky she's not here. All right, that's it. Not, how not how cool. long take a time out? Five minutes. Not not a good look, Silas. Oh. Manny's fantastic. Anyways, thank you for the card. Of course. I wanted to get everyone a little something, something, but I'm just so busy. You know? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, same. I, uh, you know. But yeah, thanks, Dave, you know. You know, now that DuPont isn't in that VPD, I mean, what's Maul going to do? Well, it offer look, me a captain's look. position now. No, Maul, he's I probably gonna didn't try know you were people. all about rank. <laughs> you know, uh, well, here's the thing, Big T. What do you mean I'm all about rank? Isn't that the point? Is to make ranks mean something? It's it's fine to not You've care made about getting Sergeant promoted or mean something. No, it doesn't. In this department, it does, but in the grand scheme of things, in the UPD, no, it doesn't. Dan is now a sergeant, and if one day I want to have my own department in the VPD. I need more experience than just being a sergeant. What do you mean you're going to make your own department in the VPD? Big Malton's going to fail so you can take it over? Is to make the, well, you know, my dream is always to make the VPD a reality, and then Malton stole my dream. Yeah. Wouldn't that be like a good, like the biggest yeah. reason not to join him? Yeah. He stole your idea. Well, we helped you facilitate it in another way with the BTF. Right. But the BTF oh. is just a unit at the end of the day. And right. Okay. The BTF becoming its own department. Would, is a dream and in order to have my own department i need to i need more experience i can't just have a bunch of sergeant experience and then poof one day become director of the vpd with my vice director you know huh so do you do realize that we we kind of just fill the slots of uh one another the departments is lieutenant anyways right like it doesn't really matter it's just a name like it really doesn't really matter. I don't think he knows uh, what he's saying right now. Pretty sure you have all the freedom in the world to do whatever you want, Silas. That doesn't change. Yeah, you're not, you don't change, Pooper. That's your problem. What? Well, here's the thing. Sir, what were we talking we, about? I've changed a lot. Here's the thing about this lieutenant thing. If we promote when people do lieutenant, then we need one for each shift. And we have... Couple sergeants here. We have a sergeant. Oh, that's and, uh, easy. Metzger shift for one. shift two. I'm shift one. And uh, uh, you complain about Metzger. <laughs> you complain. If we have to promote Metzger. Silas to lieutenant, then we might have to. No. Promote. In, wrong, wrong. Oh, come on, Silas. Come on. Lieutenants are saved and reserved for uh, legacy oh. positions, as Big T likes to call them. Oh, how okay. you're, you're not legacy. <laughs> you're new. You're you're new school. Well, if, what if we chased I it up? Like Metzger is basically weeks. shift three, so it would be we'd need a shift two one, so oh, it would have no. to be the most senior of each. So if you, oh, Silas, we'll be brothers and Want a lieutenant, again. then you guys would 
you would you and Cooper would then be. Is that what you want? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, not really. Oh, okay. Well then, oh. yeah. Then you know you can do your lieutenant duties as a right now. No one's holding you back from doing anything. Well, one of these days when I'm directing <sighs> the VPD, I'm gonna look down on you. Well, he was what? Be higher ranked than you. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't think that went through. Okay. Uh, what? You might get your wish if if then is uh is having a a breakdown yeah. or something. So. Yeah, Den's not. I mean, here's the thing. I might give him a call. Make I sure talked it's okay. about when it came to you, Big T, is you needed to grow into your role. You still have. I think you're still not there yet. You. <laughs> uh, Den needs a lot more. Hmm. I think he's just new to it. Um, I don't think he's I'm he still, knows how to handle this situation. I'm still growing into it. What, what, you think you've reached your peak? You have no room to grow? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm at the tippy top, but I'm yeah, but you, only you halfway. Still, you, know, it, you, have to, you always have to be improving. <laughs> Keep on improving. <laughs> K-O-I. You got to be coy, Big T. Always be coy. Yeah, there's always gear score to gain. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you're saying that you're the perfect sh uh, sheriff, that means you you can only get worse. But that's not true. You know, you're going to get better and better and better as you you know, as you you know do share and watch over the department and stuff. I mean, even now, your idea of promoting people to lieutenant who deserve it instead of keeping it as a legacy <sighs> a legacy position, which doesn't even make any fucking sense, because all that is means is you're going to keep people who don't come around anymore uh, a higher rank than us because they did things really they were really good back in the day. Uh, hmm. Doesn't make any sense. But yeah, you, you know, you're you're getting there, Big T. Did he go ramp go on to some... uh Okay, that's fine. I, I didn't know that you base your uh, importance and your rank on what the other uh, bozo departments are doing. So, I guess we should just make like six other ranks. I for wish you. they fucking. I wish people would see us and go, "Wow, that's the, how you okay. do it." Right. But that's Can not. Can you the be case happy with that? Me. No, because we. Fi that means so we you failed. Okay. I told you this, Silas. That we're gonna. This is gonna exactly what's gonna happen. I warned you. Remember when you yeah, had but, this idea? But Dan Failey getting sergeant. I mean, Gunnarsson to assistant. Dan Failey to sergeant. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ! And a chicken nugget. He's. I, I if anything, it's a chicken nugget, wing guy. because he's got one yeah. arm. Cooper. He's not a chicken nugget. Oh, oh that's a good one. I'm gonna. Listen, know a that chicken one nugget chicken guy. Wing. I don't know what he. I mean. There you go, Dulio. I don't know that was for about you. Him to talk shit. If you're still here, credit Dan, to Dulio. Other guy, uh, Gunnarsson, I can text shit, right? Right. One armed guy. He's SCU, so I obviously don't like him. Well, what, he helped what department you. is he? He helped sticks. What department is he? VPD. I think he's VPD. What the fuck is this shit? Yeah, Why are they hiring him whatever? VPD. Malton's fucked. Uh, look, yeah, he's, he's Silas, best captain. Now, now what does he have? Silas, why are you worry so much about everybody else? Why don't you just keep doing... All the great things that you're doing, you know, you get because I see us right as a I still think the UPD is worth saving, but okay. it's hard to do when everyone is so fucking stupid. Well, here's the deal, Silas. They make Listen, huge mistakes. That's a noble uh, cause. But here's the thing. Listen, if the other departments are all stinking it up, they're not going to survive, which what what happens? You know who is going to survive? Us. And you know what happens when the dust settles? We oh. come out on top. And then we do prevail. And then our ideologies do prevail. And then the way we did things uh, show that there we do it we did it right. I mean, and then everyone has dollars. to look at us and go, you know what? They did it right. Yeah, but now you're thinking like me. It's like a pipe dream. Like, yeah, that's, <laughs> I'd love for that to happen. And then when people say Oh, you guys did it right. Can I join? And then you're like, yeah, sure. Here, take Silas's sergeant position. Who? What? What are All you right, talking? Uh, huh? Anyways. Who? What? Wait a second. How many I, people I, have I, trusted? I may or may not be talking about Pooper. I didn't take your sergeant position. You didn't even I'm a take different it. shift than you are. Yeah. Dang, did it. How did I take How it? did I he was take already it? a sergeant. Let's see. Who's the sergeant on duty right now? Me, Pooper. Roy okay. might still be on duty. 
Let's see. There's uh Winston Walker. Okay, sure. Ruger Daniels. Ruger's a sergeant? I believe so. Yeah, he Jesus got promoted at the Christ same Hardcastle. time. Was, uh, the, the Castle. Dan well, Faley. Yeah. I mean, that's just a line of dog shit. And I got to Oh, yeah. Sergeant means something. Yeah, sure. It means something to us. And isn't that all that matters? Who gives a shit about what the other people think? Because uh, we, we didn't hire them. We don't, you know, I mean, we got to work together yeah, with they them. They still but... exist and you still okay, got to work they... with these guys. Okay. I can't wait till Dan says something to me about being, you know, hey, you know, I'm a, I'm a sergeant too, silence. So <laughs> Look at me. I'm Dan Faley. Anyways, I'm posting this to the docket later. Because I don't know how to do anything as my job. I didn't even know how to suspend him. I didn't even talk to him. I didn't even give him strike <laughs> points. I just had to go and talk to somebody else and put it on the docket like the coward I am. I don't know how to do my job as a leader and in the command position, proven over and over again. Well, there you go. I mean, if Malton had any sense, he would immediately what the hell just have the big guy. T. I'm sorry, I want to see everyone thrive. Pardon the, the word. <sighs> I'm sorry, let me rephrase. I'm sorry, I want to see the UPD as a whole succeed, oh, well, not just better, us. Better. Now, do I want to see Gunnarsson fail? Yes. <laughs> Do I want to see Malton fail? No, I want Malton to do great. The, again, the VPD is my idea, and one day I will be leading it. But right now, I don't have what it takes. What? What do you mean? What, what do you want about? Right now, I don't have what it takes. I need more experience as a sergeant, and then one day I'm going to need experience as a lieutenant, and one day I'm going to need experience what's as the, captain. What is, what day, what's the lieutenant position give you experience in? Being a lieutenant. And hey, what does that entail? That's different than what Having, you do. Uh, being able to delegate the sergeants. Okay, well, there's only paper. there's only like four, three or four sergeants in our department, so you would be delegating everybody anyway. So you would just want to delegate to Roy and Cooper? Well, then you tell me. What's the difference between a sergeant and a lieutenant? Besides That's my point. being a division lead, of course. Well, the, that that dream went out the window a long time ago. That was always the dream of how things but went. Then you, but you could still bring it back if that's your if you agree yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah but we're of. not. Listen, we're we're not. We're all. There's so many different departments that being a division lead means nothing anymore. Yeah, everyone. Name if, all the listen, divisions. No, listen, Silas. UPD. All the divisions. Most of them are gone to the troopers. Like, it's it's literally impossible. <laughs> there's the BTF, and the SCU. And the SRU and the in HVTU. That's okay. four divisions. SRU right? is run by uh, the troopers. There you go. So SCU I should be a trooper then. You want to run the SRU? There's not even a lot of divisions, so I don't know how what your argument is. It won't. Nothing will really like. The silence. You want to know how I see it? I mean, not really, but go ahead. <laughs> we're basically already at a position where. Like, if you consider what lieutenants were, they were also watch commanders. Is that commanders. my argument? Yep. We're basically watch commanders of our shifts. So why aren't we lieutenants? It's, it's just a name. Because watch commander was, just a name. was taken That's out. That's what Mullen said. Mullen said I should be the watch commander of his department for shift one. And I said, what does that I don't mean? know. You have Bundy as a captain. What does that mean, the watch commander of his, of his own shift? You know why watch, com one. watch commanders worked when there was a watch commander for basically the whole shift? But if you're going to have three different watch commanders for all different departments who have all different ideas on how to do things, they're all going to clash and it's going to be problems. Yeah, he doesn't have one, though. R right, because it wouldn't... If he does have one, it's just going to be confusing. It's just another baseless you title like that doesn't mean anything. At all. You don't have I did like it, watch it, commanders, but it's impossible to do it anymore because we have too many departments. It made a lot of sense when it was just the LSPD and the BCSO that we could come together pick one person who could help run the shift with the sergeants underneath them. That was great. That's yeah, why lieutenants happened. Now you're going back to what you said about being and our own department and not having to worry about what the other departments are doing. No, I'm not. I'm saying that doesn't work anymore. That's I'm saying that's true. We have to worry yeah. about ourselves now. There's no point in having a watch commander that's only going to be a watch commander for your, your uh, department. Why not? Because what happens about everybody else on shift? Then you have to promote people because you have to battle it out against their watch commander. And then it's an us versus them. It's like a, a war between other departments. Where he's like, wait a minute. I don't like that guy as the watch commander. I don't want them leading this. So I got to pick somebody that I need. I want Isn't to lead that, it. Is that I'm, even watch commander exclusive? I feel like that's just people in general who will get mad because they're a higher rank than you. Yeah. 
Well, that's true, but oh, Casterman's gone you too. Lost another one. That's another <laughs> one. a big hit for Mom. I mean, this is my chance to rise in the ranks and take over the VPD. Well, you'd have to work with Dan. I, for I, well, it's part of the deal. All right, Mullen, well, I'll join as a captain, but Dan needs to be fired. You know, sometimes you know what captain work usually entails, right? Uh, You're gonna have to put in a lot more hours. I liar. Oh yeah, you are. Listen, who put in more hours back when he had his job? Me or Svensson? Overall? Yes. What do you uh, mean overall? When he got well, promoted, know, how about that? Since he know, got promoted to captain. Uh, probably Owen because uh, stuff on the uh, the back end, he, hel he helps with okay. a lot too. You're, you're, so you're talking about back end. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you're always on the job as a captain. You don't know. I do back end stuff too. Okay. I send emails. <laughs> when was to who? Who'd you send your last email to? Uh, I think it was to Roy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had, you know. I'm just saying, I don't know about that one. Okay. And I'm around a lot. I'm around the entire shift, essentially. I just don't. If I'm <laughs> shift one, I don't see why I would have to even touch shift two. With You know, and I wouldn't. Right. Look, I just got an email from Riggs. Okay, what it was it? Say anything, but it just, oh, it just, just sent a, me an oh, email for some sent you reason. a blank one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ask him if he's okay? No, send the one fine. back. Uh, what do you mean? He just sent you a blank. Uh, he'll probably send another one with a. He probably yeah. was an accident. I mean, I, have to, and I deal with carrier pigeons too. You have no idea how annoying it is to communicate with our admitted. I don't know why you pigeons. keep doing that. He he has a he knows what a. He knows what a telephone is. He calls me all the time. Yeah, but it's Hello, because operator. Patch me up to Toretti. I'm like, no, Wally, it's me. There is no operator. It's just me now. Yeah, well, he, he's used to using it. I, I like to make people comfortable. <laughs> That's the problem, Big T, is you're not really a people person, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm not a people person. Not really. I'm not a people person because I don't have Wally send carrier pigeons. Well, sometimes I'll sit down with my uh, Silas Grimmer office hours and then right. people will show up and say, you know, Big T just doesn't care. And there you are, Silas, with the machete, and you are carving the future. Who said that? Of the SDSO. Who said that? <laughs> Better question, who hasn't said that? Name, <laughs> name one person that said that. I got a second that. email from Riggs Halp <laughs> in Donger. That doesn't make sense. What? Huh. That's nonsensical. Maybe uh -oh. you should use spell check next time. <laughs> oh. Anyways, even Must if have it's got not a new a, keyboard. Even though it's not a, you know, however you want to call it, efficient or optimal, as long as it makes our <laughs> deputies feel better, I don't see a reason why we can't do stuff like respond to Wally's carrier pigeons with a carrier pigeon every now and then. Uh, is that what he prefers? Got another email from Roy the boy. Okay. Gatekeep flop. Oh, I'm, that's oh, a good I'm in there that trying. That's a good one. I'm in there trying, Roy. That's what better way to gatekeep flop than to have him in our own department? That's what I said. That's true. When when is he coming around for that interview? He's uh he's working a case that he can't swap yet for because it would look bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, Big T, did uh, Mullen talk to you about, uh, I forgot what he called it. He, he he was like, oh, I got an idea. He's like, I got an idea. It's going to be a, uh, what? Congratulations, but I will miss 4 0 Can people just use their phones? <clears throat> Anyways, uh, talk about uh, the liaison he position. Is a he is a department. A liaison position? Yeah, did he talk to you about that? No. What what is what does that do? Uh essentially it's like you're being part of both departments and you're like the tie between it. 
because I think he just thinks the other departments are shit and he only wants to really focus on the relationship between the SDSU and the VPD. However, Dan being a sergeant is, right. uh, hold on. <laughs> My dad just sent me an email. <laughs> Never let them see you swing in the locker room. You may- <laughs> One. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm not reading. What are you? What are you slinging? I want to hear what your dad has to say. What was it? Yeah, I don't know what. Please let my, me hear it. Yeah, my dad's going. always high on men. I don't know why he <laughs> never let them see you swing in the locker room. You may die, but they not catching you with the hose because they are not ready for me or you. <laughs> oh, I don't know word. what this means. I I got an email from DuPont. Thank you, Silas. I appreciate you very much. Okay. All right. Well, it's nice to hear from your dad. I'm I'm guessing. No, it's I hate it when he fucking emails me this nonsense. (laughs) I think it's kind of sweet. I mean, he's trying to give no. you some advice. I mean, it's not great advice. He's belligerent, but I mean, at least he's he's thinking about you. Just never get yeah. It's, I bet it's an insult. He always insults me. Oh, is I it mean, an I insult? Think the advice. Uh, yes. The advice he hates that I became a cop. Was he really fucking good. hates my guts. <laughs> he calls me Silas the pig shit grimmer all the time. Jesus. Yeah. Ugh. He's, I told Why? you, he's a miserable piece of shit. Why are you? Sometimes I feel like talking shit. to my dad, and he always lets me down. So, well, you know who would never let you down, Silas. Right, you're right. Me, Mo- you. <laughs> Wait, what were you about to say, Silas? Because you know Christ. anybody else, I, you know who else could you be even? Who would let? I mean, look at look what's happened. Malton promoted Dan. Uh, he's trying to. Coach people from our department. Uh, he's uh, took over the name of the department that you wanted. I mean, he he let you down big time. Uh, but me, you know, I'm right here next to you anytime you need anything. Yeah, I got you. I mean, you your Christmas sometimes, card. Sometimes you just go yeah, until f- fucking you know hours. Well, that's because I could trust to know that you are gonna make uh, sure that everything's running. Smooth as ice. Well, I got a question for you. If you were in Malton's position and someone wanted to promote Dan, would you allow it because you trust in your command and high command, or would you instantly overturn it and deny the the promotion? Are we talking about what with the information that I know about how Dan acts and, and the things that happens? Uh, yeah. You 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 have information. Yeah. Okay. Then then you yeah. also know your captain is, is really pushing for it. Right. And thinks he deserves it. No, I would have to step in. You'd have to step in? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. But I would but like here's the a, thing a week ago. I would hope that the people I put in the position are people I can trust and the, and they won't make crazy batshit uh decisions like promoting Dan to sergeant after he just tried to put a cop in jail instead of punishing him internally. I'm also pretty sure he got corporal and then transferred it. And then, I don't know, or two weeks later, he's a sergeant. Pretty sure I saw Dan execute a, a man uh, next to the, the apartments near Pillbox and then clean up the evidence. Why didn't you do anything about <gasps> it? I, uh, I told both Brian, Den. Uh, I'm not sure who else was there, but I told Brian and Den, who's in his department. They said, oh, no, it's all good. I believe Bundy's a captain. He's Here been a captain go. forever. Yeah, don't give me that. I know, an idiot. Captain of what, though? Captain of what, though? Oh, well, I mean, captains are, you know, whatever, too. You think every rank is whatever. When it's really, you should... You're too... You know what the problem is? Is you don't care enough about ranks because you think it's fine. You do the rank. You, you do this, this, this. You get the freedom to do this, 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 this. Right. So ranks don't mean anything to you either. Then if you're going to act like that. No, they do mean something to me. 
No, you just said it doesn't we matter need because to, what let, would change? Because I hey, put people don't in, even change. Yeah, nothing. That's you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, because it's true. You said you need experience as a lieutenant, and I just told you what's the difference. And you were like, oh, there isn't any. Well, then define a difference. You're the sheriff. So you want to put in a rank just because you so think, I can define okay, well, it. Do you think lieutenant because, is a worthless position then? Uh, now that there's captains, uh, they they make uh, the ranks above it and below, or the ranks below it, uh, less important. Because captains are basically super command, right? Who High command. I don't know what super command. What is that? Well, they're they're basically lieutenants with high command status, right? Because they're usually going to be a little. They're going to be act. Captains are usually acting a little different than both the under sheriff or the assistant chief and the chief or the sheriff, right? Because they are the ones who are taking an overall approach to things. And then the captains are usually the people on the field that are basically just lieutenants and sergeants with more power than both of them that do the same thing, right? So you're saying lieutenant doesn't mean anything right now because we don't have an active captain? No, I'd say it doesn't mean anything regardless. I mean, he's got a point. So it's a worthless you know, it's rank. Big, yes, it's basically just why sergeant, is it a but a different why name. Why is it a thing, then? It's, it's just sergeant, but a different name, you know? That's what I see. That's the, okay, yeah. well, I think that's kind of bad on you, Big T, for not having it. You know, you should you should identify the rank and make it more uh, meaningful than just saying, doesn't matter, the rank is pretty shit. And then saying captain is just lieutenant plus is also kind of weak, too. If you want ranks to mean something, then you need to make the ranks mean something. You can't just say lieutenant and shit and captain is just lieutenant plus. Then you're, make, you're, you're admitting the ranks don't matter. No, I'm admitting that if you bloat certain ranks at the higher point, it makes no sense. It should be like a pyramid, right? As you go up, there should be less people, not more. You shouldn't have just yeah, as many captains has, as you do sergeants and lieutenants. Work, and you don't want to be a pyramid. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, I mean, I agree. But you're bloating up the sergeant role. Who am I bloating the sergeant role with? Well, you got three sergeants. Right. You got a couple of, I mean, you know, I don't know what, uh, Willie, poor Willie got shafted. He's he's getting promoted. He's probably next in line. Yeah. And then eventually you'll have like five sergeants, right. no lieutenant, no captain, an under sheriff who comes around once a month. You want, I mean, you're coming at Big whoa, C? That's, your, big, that's the Big C. That's the two time. That's the Big, big C, C, but I mean... Well, should I not question? Do you need I, him I on duty question? patrolling? Do you need the undersheriff on duty patrolling? I think it'd to be do nice what he needs to, to have do? An, uh, a, a active undersheriff. To do what? It helps to with do morale. What, to do what and you... It, and it helps to know he has my back in case I You get... know what having more active high command and, and uh, does for command? It makes them useless. The more not active the people are... Not if the high command delegates correctly. But they don't. Says, this is not because my, that's this not what captains ever do. Me. Because then, then you know what happens? Do it. Then you will do it. What do you mean? That's not a what? That doesn't sound like my problem. If the under sheriff, if Big C was active and constantly took everyone's complaints and never asked for command to do anything, that's Big C's fault. Okay, but then what do you C's need him around, around for? Active, you want him as a mascot? Talking... No, it's <laughs> not what I said at all. What do you want him for? An active under sheriff improves morale, and it's nice to know he'll have my back in case I need an under sheriff to help me out. Say they're, you know, assist Den. I, everyone knows, you know, Den, he's, I'm not going to uh -huh. talk shit to Den. He's new. If he does something stupid and me and him get in a, in a scuffle, and you know me, I'm probably going to talk shit and get, you know, sent off duty. Right. Like, I want that. But, uh, you know, in another case, it's like, I can't do anything. Who do I go to? Good thing my undersheriff's around. He can help me out. But now I think, no, I have to go straight to Big T because I know Big C ain't around. What if I'm not around? Well, I mean, you're. I'm not going to say. I mean, that's just. It's just unfortunate. Ooh, with the sixteen, you're, you're around all the time. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to say you're not. You're around all the time. The sixteen gifties so if you're not around, it's just from T Rex and that. Big C. I'm not going to even expect him to be around because he's not. That's the two time. I love Big C. Okay. I just wish he was more active. I think the under sheriff should be more active than Big C is. I'm not saying they need to be around every day. Hell, even maybe once a week is good enough for the under sheriff. <laughs> Oh, thank you for but gifting a sub to T Rex and app. That's that's what I think. <clears throat> okay. I think you're every much capable of doing everything that we do. And if you ever need someone to back you up, 
you know, you could always send a quick little email. He can be there to help you. I'm sure if you need a big C for anything, he would have your back. All right, if you say so. But I don't, if we're going to keep not... getting more sergeants, then maybe we need to get this lieutenant rank. But the only reason this is even a question is because other departments have it. Imagine if we all got rid of the lieutenants. Then this wouldn't even be an issue, right? It's because a bunch of departments have a bunch of random ranks, right? So then we have then departments. Get rid of lieutenant. If you don't like it, get rid of it. I could. That's just what I would do in your shoes. If you don't like the rank or you think a rank is kind of worthless, it's, there's not much of a difference, then just change it. I mean, you're the sheriff. I look at Metzger as more of a, an advisor. Right? He helps out a lot with, you know, when we have issues or we have like over overarching issues with the department or, or the, the police department, and I need to ask him some questions. He's always there and he's always good to, uh, to bounce ideas off. That's why Sounds he's like kind of important. Assistant. No, he's an advice. He's like a, you know, a consultant. You know those guys. That doesn't sound uh, to, him, to me at all. But it sounds like he's your. I mean, it, I mean, advisor. It's is advisor. It's not lieutenant, unless you want lieutenant to mean advisor. Well, technically, all of high command are your advisors, right? Or commands, yeah, so or I how I treat all sergeant. of my command. I'm also advisors for for a lot of things for big big issues like the the, the big ones it's usually high command but for everything else right. command is also uh advisors so you think it's okay that we have the only lieutenant in our department is inactive does that really bother you that much about well, this I'm guy asking you does it so it doesn't bother you uh, he's not inactive he comes around later at night because he's a shift three if late shift two, shift three. He's not an actor. But he's uh he's on paid leave right now because uh he had uh, a very exciting thing uh happen yeah. and he's dealing with that for the next you know week or so. Sure. But he comes around at night. All right. I guess I I mean I wouldn't know. But, yeah, okay. I'm just saying, yeah, I would know. So who would you be, if you were a lieutenant in shift one, who would you be uh, delegating to? So the way I would see it is if I was the lieutenant of shift one, uh, I mean, Roy is, what's shift your, two. Roy shift, sh shift two. Oh, yeah. is he? Yeah. yeah. Then yeah. I, well, I'd same, have to promote really. my own sergeant. <laughs> you, what, you think you know somebody who you would promote to sergeant? Don't you oh, dare yeah. say sticks. I, I got I got No, go. sticks cannot oh, be promoted to sergeant. Good idea. He can't. I love sticks, but he can't be a sergeant, Silas. Oh, but dead shysty could be assisted to the whatever different. That department. wasn't my dead. I'd have to take you know, I'd have to take a look. You know, I'd have to scratch my scratch my chin. Yeah. Uh I, honestly, what I would probably do <sighs> is secretly pick someone who I think has potential right. and kind of train them. Without them really knowing what I'm okay. doing. Yep, that's what I did as well. You watch uh, well. So you want to do it? You want to be promoted to lieutenant before we have a need for lieutenant? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm just saying because lieutenant role only makes sense if you have people underneath you to yeah, be but a you lieutenant. Know there's also forward. a lot of crossover. A lot of the times, there's going to be Cooper, do you cross me, over? Roy, hopefully one day Willie. So you want to be lieutenant of of Cooper? Well, no, because all I'm saying is, like, if we're talking about something, right? Like, say we're in a discussion, and it, we're kind of, like, at a split decision. And it's, you know, me, you, uh, Big C might be around. I mean, who am I kidding? Never mind. Metzger might be around. Wait, who am I kidding? Never mind. Uh, Roy, <laughs> hopefully Willie. And it's like, well, what do we do? Well, I'm the lieutenant. I'm going to make a decision. Because we all know Big T's not going to do it. Okay. And you can't do that now? No, because you're going to say, shut up, Silas. Why well, would be different if you were a lieutenant? I'm still your the, boss. You're going to say, all right, LT. <laughs> say less, LT. <laughs> then you're going to say, I wish I was as cool as Silas. Somebody's gotten to your, your head, Silas. Everyone. You need everyone to stop letting up, people get. Everyone needs, you need Back to stop the letting day, these people get Brett, to you. Fred wanted, to be a, wanted me to be sergeant when I was a right. senior officer. Imagine, okay. 
Oh, sure. Do that all what the happened time? to Gable? He thought he was promised the world. The grass is greener on the other side. You know what happened? He went there. This was different. Son. This was an offer. This wasn't a promise. This was like an offer. It's like what Malton's doing. It's an offer. Right. Right. You I think? Was, you think he would have actually given it to you? You think you would have been just? You Fred think you wouldn't me. be forgotten? Oh, Fred loves You'd be just another one. You'd just be another sergeant in that department no, with 12, 20 a, sergeants. Enforcer. Or you'd be another one, enforcer. No, that's a corporal. That's, that's a, a corporal. corporal. No, yeah. corporal's well, I don't a corporal. Know the ranking system, exactly, because so there's too many. I can't give you. Obviously, I would not like the CPD changes. And then you'd be another lieutenant, and there, are, and there are tons of lieutenants if you were a lieutenant. I'd be way higher. Okay, so then you'd be another captain with all the other captains. Okay, so you would be above Pred. You would be Pred. Well, I don't know the ranks. I don't know the ranks. I'm just saying. There's like Marshal, there's General Marshal, there's Vice General Marshal, there's Major General Marshal. Pred, this is fucking stupid. But yeah, I'd definitely be a fucking. I'd be up there. Pred fucking loves me. He loves the BTF. He says, Silas, you're the you're one of the greatest guys I've ever met. I wish I was more. Well, you get the same. You and you have probably the exact same amount of power as you'd have over there. With nobody else to even question anything you say or decide besides the, the boss himself. So that's pretty much what you have here, well, Silas. I, but I can look at myself in the mirror and say, I am higher ranked than okay. Dan. Okay, so this Can't is do about, that Dan. Right about Dan Faley. Can't do that so you right want now. me to spite promote just because oh, Dan got promoted. So this is an arms race. I'm just saying with all these people leading departments coming to me begging, even Gunnarsson was like, you know, we need a lieutenant in my uh, department, Silas. And I said... Stick it in your ears, Gunnison. Okay. You know, Maud's offering it to me. I'm getting offers out the wazoo. All right. I mean, how would you say it's a little weird. I, I don't trust it. You've gotten them. I've gotten them. Who else have they promised shit to? I, well, I've gotten like seven. So I don't know about you. I don't remember seven ever. Departments? Listen, Silas, I don't remember ever uh, trying to poach people for our department. I think most people came for, right. to us. But I did have to. You know, ask you people tonight? to swap. Yeah, because it was a uh, it was <clears throat> when we first started, and I understand that. I think it's a little more difficult here, but I wouldn't try to, you know, put in trade offers. So I wouldn't do that. I just said, "Hey, I'm making a new department. Uh, if you want to come over, but who did? I, I don't even know who you would be talking about." Well, I'll tell you who didn't do that. And then you would just be exactly what you hated the most, Silas. How? Because you would take an offer from another department that you didn't... No, wait, what do you think I was talking about? When, you this, were, when the you, SCSO was talking, first started, who right? was the first person in that door saying, I'll join? I believe it was. I mean, you were you were pretty you were. I think I was the quick. second. Yeah, Pike might have been the first. No, no, I think, I think it was Brian. If I remember correctly, Brian talked to you about something and then i and then i walked in but who did who wasn't <laughs> waiting that day to talk to you that's oh, right ago. pooper yeah. what i, I couldn't transfer even if point. i wanted to okay so you want to be know. you want to be cooper and and malton's department well all i'm saying is and you want to get a promotion instead of being demoted to help you build this do so you want to be you want to be what everything you've hated no this is different. Somebody's this screaming completely outside. Different. How dare you, Big T? Is that flop? Somebody's screaming. Uh, they there, there's EMS there. Let him be. Let him be. It's, it's too easy. He's fine. You want? Okay. I just want. I just heard somebody scream. I need your help. You hear that? Oh no! My dad is, is fucking spamming me with emails. Oh no! Son, keep fighting for LT. Meanwhile, I will be resisting the urge to not listen to the snail in my ear that is telling me to grab the policeman's gun. <laughs> Your dad is losing it. Not good. He's, he's, he's losing it. He's lost it. Oh. I get these all the time. That's not good. I didn't know you talked to your dad about the lieutenant stuff. Yeah, when I was when I went down to talk to him. Well, at least he the, listens. Uh, I'm surprised he remembers. Yeah. <laughs> it was when we were talking I was talking about Ezra and he said that nonsensical line that I put in my eulogy for some reason. He asked me what rank I was, and he's like, still? And he said, I forgot what he said. Wait, your own dad burned you that you're still a, sil a sergeant, Silas? Yep. Ooh. He said Dan, even Dan's a sergeant now. That is, that is gross. I, I, I don't know what that's about. I, I was 
I was hoping he would get demoted after the Ingvar thing, but I assumed he would get fired. <sighs> I mean, we're I mean, we could, you know, I want to I want to see hear what Walton has to say about this. Wait a second. I think I did know. Did you ask saying. for? Did you ask for Dan, uh, Dan to you know be punished, Big T? Dan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I talked to Isn't I did like I respected the chain of command. I talked to uh DuPont and I voiced my concerns and said that I think that he should be uh removed of his corporal position. Uh and I am uh was waiting a response, didn't get one, so I was gonna probably talk to Malton next time I saw him, but usually Ooh. the only time I see Malton is when he's They spite promoted him. Maybe. Oh why he's doing that. Yeah, I don't, that doesn't sound like a Malton thing to do. I think I know what happened. I think someone recommended or or someone in his high command wanted Dan promoted and Malton is not one to overturn his high command's decisions. So even though he didn't like it, he just, he didn't do anything about it. He said, all right, if you, he's you the boss. He Go ahead. Yeah, but he's, but it's, he's the, he's the, he is the boss, right? If he has these high command people in a, in a, for a reason, if I was leading my own department and for an example, I had Pooper as my captain and Pooper wanted to promote Willie to sergeant. Why do I have Pooper in my, as my high command if I'm going to overturn everything he does? Then I clearly don't trust him. But because I'm the one who put Pooper in that position, I should say, well, you're here for a reason. I'll approve it, even though I don't really see it yet. Okay, so you have so you have the right to approve or or disprove of something, right? I mean, you can if you want to. If you want to keep overturning your captain, what do you mean? Oh, why keep... do you have them in that position then? Well, sometimes you need people there, and maybe they're not the perfect fit, and they're not everyone's as lucky as uh, as uh, as me. To, but sometimes you uh, you have to do that because you're the boss, uh, and you need you to make decisions. Benson doesn't deserve captain. No, I said not everyone's as lucky as me to have people who are perfect for the position. Uh, I misunderstood. Jesus, Silas. So, unfortunately, you sometimes got to do stuff like that. Your job is to make sure that everyone's doing their job. If they're doing bonehead things, you sometimes got to make sure that they don't do bonehead things. You guys think the pawn just... Knew she was gonna get troopers, so before she left, she just promoted Dan the dude. <laughs> no, I think Malton just Malton griefed him. Griefed us. I think that's it. Why would Malton that. promote Dan? Right, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. It's a it's a direct yeah, shot he, at us. Because yeah. he no, because he wants he wanted me and Roy for his department. Why the fuck would he promote Dan? He's a mom. It doesn't make any he's gonna, sense. He's going to say whatever it takes. You know, I want to hear it from him. I want to hear from the snake's mouth. <laughs> wow. Well. Okay. He's got some splaining to do. Well, Silas, you see. Is that it? Are you, is that the whole impression? That's pretty good. I forgot what else he usually says. Like he always has like these these few lines he says, but I forgot most of them. There's a lot of people ten ten seven right now. Holy shit! You should have seen it yesterday. It was bad. Like there were around forty cops, and usually only five of us were patrolling. Surprisingly, it was all as Diazota was patrolling. Rare. Yeah, it's not surprising at all, honestly. Well. Everyone else was stuck in MRPD. I was going to call Dan, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. I don't feel like talking Dan to him or today. Dan? Dan. I was going to see if he's, how his mental breakdown's going. Yeesh. Anyway. I don't think you should give him, I don't think he should be getting any shit. I think he's, he needs to learn how to, do his job because let's be honest, we don't. I don't think he deserved his position. I don't well, think Gunnarsson sh- deserved it either. Well, then they shouldn't have ran. I don't think ninety percent of it. They did it to Silas. Here's the deal. That's true, but they also did it to themselves. They ran for the position. They wanted the position. So if they weren't ready and they got the position that they asked for, then that's all on them. 
if they were oh, yeah. given this and they were thrown if it was thrown at them when they didn't ask for it or try to run or do a bunch of debates or go up there and and sling shit at everybody else thinking that they were the right candidate for it uh then yeah it makes sense but they went up there saying yeah i can do this i know what i'm doing this is how it's going to work. I'm the best person for this job. And when they fumble the bag, then they should be criticized for it. That's just how it is. When I fumble the bag for something I do, I should be criticized for it. That's well, something I'm not that saying happens. Don't criticize him. I'm just saying don't think less of the guy for making a mistake. Cuz who is actually ready? Who for everyone who ran for chief, was there anyone who was actually ready to be the chief? Mom. Oh, yeah, good point. All right, I'll back down. <laughs> That's why I didn't run. <laughs> Wait, which Dan are we talking about? Dan Scheist or Din? We're talking about Dan? Oh, God. Oh. Let's just call them... Let's just go there. What's his last name? Scheisty? Scheisty and Failure, yeah, so we don't get confused. But that's why I didn't run for chief of police. Is one day I will lead the VPD, but... Uh, I'm not ready. I got a ways to go. Uh, you'll get there, Silas. I don't know if it's uh, going to be as wonderful as you think it will be. So It's fine. I can take the hits, Big T. Oh, I can take the hits. Well, it's not about how hard you can get hit. Yes, it is. How, how hard you can hit. What? Oh, what gotta, is this? You want to rephrase? Start swinging. Wait. What? That actually made a lot of sense. <laughs> 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 